Speaking of personalization, I want to talk about QR codes. Have you ever seen these little squares with multiple squares within them? These are called QR codes or quick response codes. What you're able to do is take your cell phone and most cell phones can have a QR code reader on them where you would actually point your camera at the QR code and you would be immediately transported to a website. And these are used, this uh, particular QR code comes from Katzman Monument Company, but there are a number of pr providers out there. French has a, another mm -hmm. provider that you use. And what you can get once you go to the website, you scan the code using your cell phone, and you're taken to a site that can have photos of the deceased, biographies, uh, audio, video, even uh, family trees, just a whole range of things that you can share information about the deceased. And not only does this little QR code, this, this has an adhesive on the back, so it could be applied outdoors on a marker in a cemetery, or if there are remains in an urn, you can do more storytelling from beyond the grave using this QR code and your, and your smartphone. That is a very nice, you, you touched on several points. Um, out at Sunset, we offer a QR code to every family that comes in because we are able to place them not only on the flat markers, but as you said, on the crypt plates, on the niche plates. And it allows family members also to go into this website and add through the years. They can add pictures, photos, comments. So it gives your life story mm -hmm. right there in the little code. It's a living history that, that once the event is over, once the funerals happen, once the, the loved one is buried, that, at least in our instance, that account, that online account becomes the family's property. Mm -hmm. They maintain it. They can add to it. It's a living, growing history that over the years, on the anniversaries, on the birthdays, they add more and more and more, and it, it really becomes a, a history repository, an archive for them. And, and it makes the cemetery very much what we feel it is. It's not a place of death. It's a pe place of life. It transcends the, the mundane nature of what we have to do, which is bury a body. Mm -hmm. it, it really is a place to celebrate life. And that's a portal right there mm -hmm. to a lot of detail that you can't put in an inscription on a stone. And in, in that little dash. That little the dash. Day. Yes. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of information, and this helps you get to it. And, and just on a practical note, what, what you usually do is you put one person in charge of accessing the, the, the website mm -hmm. and helping to upload the information, but a family can certainly share and you know, mm -hmm. make it yep. as many people contributing as they Correct. wish.